I showed you all the ways to calculate the critical path position of a project. In this session, we will make an exercise together in the same exercise we did in the precedence diagram, the big exercise, we looked at the resources, all these things we did before, and that information you will use. So you will have to do some calculations. I advise you to stop the presentation a few times and complete the diagrams, try to find the solution yourself, and then compare it with the solution that I give you on the screen. The solutions are also provided in an Excel sheet that you can use later to verify your work. So the activity information and the cost that we have, it's given in this table, it's the result of our calculation. So the activity is A, B, C until J with a cost of five units per period. The diagram, the precedence diagram we determined before is the same one. You probably still have it. So you can use this information. What we will do now and what we did before was the creation of the Gantt chart and we added the resource information. Remember, when we added the resource information, we had some problems to resolve. And in the next slide, you will see the end result of the resource smoothing we conducted in one of the previous sections. Here you see the Gantt chart with all the resource issues resolved. If you remember from the previous exercise, activity A was originally only on period one and two, early start and early finish, but we extended it to four periods to reduce the activity utilization or the utilization of the resource. It had a consequence on activities C and D, which were moved to start in period five. Another problem we had to resolve was in activity F, we extended the activity with one period and we also resolved the problem that we had there. And since we extended activity F, we had to move activity G into its slack with one period. So we see now that the project has a good resource utilization. This will be our plant start Gantt chart. But first, I will have to calculate the early start Gantt chart. Now we have to take away this information. We have to replace the resource with the cost of the activities. And now you have to fill out this table to calculate the time-phased cost and the cumulative cost. So do it on the documents that were supplied or that you made yourself, depending how you are working, and stop the presentation for the time you need to do that calculation. If you want, you can do these calculations very easily in Excel. By the way, that is what I did and calculations become very easy. So, see you in a few minutes when you finish this exercise. So, you continuing, you finish the exercise. Let's have a look at my result and compare it with your result. Here is my solution. So you see the time phase budget on the bottom, all the activities in early start, and we can find 
the cumulative budget on the bottom. The total budget at the end is 135 monetary units. Now you have to do the same thing, but the Gantt in late start position. We do the same. Stop the presentation for a few minutes until you're finished, and then I will show you my solution. You are back. Let's have a look and compare your result with mine. Now you see that all the activities are in late start position. The end cost at period 15 is still the same, but the cost on period 1 is not the same anymore because we moved A to its late start position. The next thing to do now is to calculate the actual start or the planned start GAN chart. And here we have to be a little bit careful. Remember what happened with activity A. I extended A from two to four periods. Now, when we extend the activity, the total cost of the activity doesn't change. It means the cost, total cost of activity A is 10k. When we stretch the activity, when we expand the activity over four periods, the total cost is still the same. So the activity cost per period is now, yes, you are right, it's not 5 anymore, it's 2.5. So per period now, we will have 2.5k for activity A. It gives us the same total cost of the activity. The same we did for task F. We expanded, we expanded the task. We made it with one period longer. So now we have a task of three period with a cost of 10k, which brings us per period, yes, you are right, 10 divided by 3 is 3.33, up to infinity of course, k per time unit. Take that information and now complete the new situation the Gantt in plant start position. Same thing, stop the presentation until you're finished and then we compare the solutions. So you are back already, you finished the exercise. Let's compare your result with mine. And you see, I moved those tasks C and D. I didn't change anything. So their cost per unit is the same. But like we discovered before, the cost per period for activity A is now 2.5 per period and for F 3.333. If you would calculate this in Excel, it's better not to write 3.333 as cost for activity F as cost per period for activity F, but better to write 10 divided by 3. That will give you the perfect outcome of the calculation. Otherwise, you may have some small differences. But these are things which are not so important, but it may explain why sometimes a result is a little bit different. You see, in period 1, we have 8K as time phase budget and cumulative budget and in period 15 we still have the 135 that did not change let's now put all that information in one big graph and look at the critical path position of this project 
This may be a little bit more difficult to draw by hand, but Excel will help you with this. If you know Excel a little bit, you will know how to make these graphs. You see the early start position, you see the late start position, and then you see the gray curve, which is between the blue and the orange one. We see that they touch in the late start in period four, because there we are at the same critical path. On the other path, we have quite a lot of uh, flexibility. So our critical path position of this project is quite interesting. We don't have to worry too much. And we know that from period 12 till 15, everything is critical. So nothing to do about that. That's just life. And we only have two tasks there, which both are on the critical path. Not an easy chapter. You did a great job. And get ready to continue for the next section, which will be about risk management. See you there. Thank you.